Okay guys, so today we will update our BIOS in the motherboard yung sa previous build natin and then what's the reason kung bakit tayo mag update uh, we will talk about it later so let's go ahead so if happen na hindi nyo alam yung BIOS version nyo or BIOS version of your motherboard you can go to your bio settings and you will find it here. There. So, you just have to press delete or F2. There you are. And then you will find your model name just like my motherboard asus exb 365 v5 and then bios version is 1202 build date is 7 15 2019 and then this one is your firmware version okay so remember that and also kapag mag update kayo ng bios uh, make sure na set to default nyo muna lahat ng settings sa uh, motherboard nyo para walang maging aberya. So, if happen na naka-enable yung XMP nyo, uh, default nyo muna. Pero yung sa akin kasi naka-default na to eh. Inock ko na siya. So, Let's proceed. Save changes. Then let's go to the OS. There you are. Kung meron kayong application na CPU Z, pwede nyo makita yung BIOS version nyo dun. But if wala kayo nyan application okay lang check nyo na lang dun sa bio settings sa boot kung meron kayong ganito I just zoom it okay yan then punta kayo sa main board then you will see your motherboard details manufacturer asus model exb 365 V5 then your version 1202 date build date 7/15/2019 so once na alam niyo na yung BIOS version niyo punta na kayo sa site ng motherboard niyo uh, remember sa site lang kayo pupunta sa official site ng motherboard nyo. So, Asus, this one. And then, motherboard. Para official yung makuha nyo driver. And latest also. Support. And then, driver and tools. BIOS and firmware Tapos. BIOS So let's see all the drivers listed So this one is version 1202 So ito yung version ko Then we have the latest version 1605 so, ito yung download natin. Okay? Once you downloaded the file, you will need a flash drive para dito nyo ilalagay yung file. Then, extract this file. the 
file ito yung file just move this dun sa flash drive nyo and then close tapos press start Then, punta na ulit kayo sa BIOS settings. Press delete. Okay, so we are here all again sa BIOS settings. Then, itong BIOS settings, iba-iba to ha, depende to sa uh, brand ng motherboard. So, example lang to ng Asus na BIOS settings. And then, let's go to Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. And then, Please select BIOS update method. So, pwede kayong mag-update BIOS via internet like this one. Or pwede din dun sa ginawa natin setup. Yung through flash drive. Pero, in case na wala kayong internet available, you can still update your BIOS. And also, remember, Kapag nag-update kayo ng BIOS ng motherboard nyo, make sure na hindi siya ma-interrupt yung process. Kasi sakaling ma-interrupt yan, mawalan kayo ng power, uh, maaring masira yung motherboard nyo. Hindi nyo na magagamit. Pero I know yung mga latest or high-end na motherboard, uh, pwede silang mag-rollback dun sa previous version ng BIOS nila I think I could be wrong so let's proceed na tayo next then ito yung ayan so ito yung laman ng storage natin so ito So, ito yung file na nilagay natin sa flash drive. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Ito yung BIOS information model EXB365 version 1605. Ito yung latest. Then, ito yung build date 7-14-2020. Yes. So, in the process, we just have to wait na matapos yung process na updating. MEFW update, flash new ME firmware, do not shut down or reset the system while updating. New ME firmware to prevent system boot failure. So we still in processing. A few moments later. Okay, so almost there. Hindi lang kita yung status bar dito sa baba. Okay, so update successfully. Press natin yung delete. Okay, so... Let's check. So, BIOS. 
model name xb 365 v5 bias version 1605 build date 7-14-2020 so yun na updated na tayo sa latest BIOS version then balik na natin yung XMP then save changes let's try Tingnan natin kung magbubot na siya sa OS nang walang aberya. And also, titignan natin dun sa CPU Z kung same lang din ba sila ng settings. Para to make sure na all things well. Okay, so main board. Okay, so version 1605 date 71420 2020. So, ilang guys, lang mag-update ng version. Kung pinabalak niyo mag-update ng version ng motherboard niyo in case na mag upgrade kayo ng processor tapos need ng BIOS update para mabasa yung newer gen. So, yun lang guys. So, sunod ulit. Bye-bye!